How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel, Pete's Carport. And in front of me is my 1994 Honda Acti mini truck. It has been an absolute amazing machine, specifically these last few months when fuel prices just shot through the roof. This thing's approximately getting about 45 miles to the gallon. And I know a lot of you are clicking on these videos because you want to know more about them. How do they drive? Can you daily drive these? I've been daily driving this now for approximately six months. In the last three months, I've been taking it almost every single day, and I drive right around 60 miles a day, guys. And this thing is insanely easy to drive. It's easy to get in and out of places, and it's not as slow as you would think, and you would be more comfortable than you would ever think. I easily fit into this. Now, I'm not a big guy, but I've even had some bigger people jump in here and get shocked at how much room there is. I'm not doing this video on daily driving it, but I am planning on doing one shortly after this. Today, we're talking about why you should not buy a cheap aftermarket fuel pump. Let's say you picked up one of these vehicles, it needed a fuel pump. I highly suggest you go out and spend a little more money and get a good fuel pump for these vehicles. I bought a cheap one. Not only is it insanely loud, and I'll show you guys right now, I go underneath the vehicle and get real close. And you can see how loud that thing is. And you can hear it in the cab while driving. You probably hear it while I'm recording right now. It just ticks away. And recently it got even louder and then it started to fail. So it started kicking off on me. I noticed I was getting hesitation. At first I thought my clutch was slipping, but I realized, nope, it's definitely fuel that's not getting to the engine. And today it completely conked out on me and uh, it took a while to get it back up and running. I had to tap on it quite a few times, start it, rev the engine finally. I got it to get me back to where I'm at now and I am throwing the other fuel pump back in. Why did I take that fuel pump out in the first place? Some of you guys are probably wondering, well, I had an issue uh, with the distributor and I thought that my fuel pump was out because there was no power going to it. And then I even thought maybe it was the uh, fuel pump relay and that wasn't it. So now it's time to put back in the OEM one. I think it's the OEM one at least. It was the one that was in the vehicle. And I think it's a Mitsubishi, which is kind of ironic, but that was a much higher grade fuel pump. It was not loud and it never gave me any issues. So we're gonna throw that one back in, but we've gotta rewire it because when I got the one in from eBay, I believe I bought it from for like 50 bucks, uh, it didn't have the correct wire to go to it. So I cut my wires, crimped in those wires, and I was good to go, but I did notice right away the thing was loud. And so let's jump right into it. I'll show you guys, it's a very easy process. There's only a few bolts to take out. Uh, you unplug it, you definitely wanna crimp those hose lines if you can, otherwise you get fuel everywhere and then you're gonna hook your new one up and you're good to go. So let's jump in now and talk about that. Okay, I went ahead and jacked the vehicle up on the back, put a jack stand there. We're gonna enter now from the passenger side of this vehicle, which happened to be the left-hand side, and you're gonna come up under where the spare tire is, slide down, and as you look straight up between the drive shaft, you're gonna see your fuel pump there. Now you've got an inlet line that is coming from your fuel tank, and then you've got one that comes out of the fuel pump where the fuel pump's gonna pump to, and that's gonna go to your engine. So make sure you hook those up right. I'll explain those the best I can to you. But you'll be able to follow the line to the fuel tank and that is gonna be the one for the inlet side. So the lower side on that fuel pump. So let's go ahead and get this one out. I'll kind of compare the two so you guys get a better idea out of the vehicle. You can see there's two, I believe 10 millimeter, possibly 13, but I think they're 10 millimeter bolts uh, holding that fuel pump in. We'll pull those out. And then there's a plug. and you'll be able to pull the whole fuel pump down. Now I'm gonna go ahead and clamp these hoses because you will get fuel coming out of them if you have fuel in your tank. All right, so we got the fuel pump side by side and they both look very similar. This does not look like bad quality. It is quite heavy, but let me tell you this $50 eBay fuel pump is a piece of junk. It is loud and obviously it failed very, very quickly on me. This is the one I originally pulled out, running great, no noise. I uh, never had any issues with it. And I believe this is the original or a kind of OEM style replacement because it says Mitsubishi on the top. Uh, let me know in the comments if you know if that's what they use originally or this might be some sort of replacement, whatever. It is a very good fuel pump from what I have seen with it so far. So we're gonna put it back in. Now we're gonna have to swap that plug back over to that one. And like I said, other than that, they're pretty similar. You've got your uh, inlet from the fuel tank down here and this is gonna be the outlet going to uh, your engine. So 
you want to make sure you just have those correctly otherwise it'll push the gas right back into the fuel tank the lines should match up you know as far as length goes and you'll see when i get up underneath there I'll try to film it as much as i can not the easiest underneath that truck especially when you're handling fuel kind of both of your hands so i'm going to do my best showing you guys putting it back in but it's a fairly simple installation we're going to basically plug it up bolt it up and then hook up our lines and tighten those up and we should be good to go so let's get going on that Okay, so you can see there how the hoses hook up, hopefully. Uh, this is coming from the fuel tank up back behind there. And then this is going to lead right to this high pressure line here, uh, which is going to lead to the carburetor. So that should all be hooked up good. Then our wiring is plugged in and snapped onto the little clip there. Stays nice and snug up top. So let's go ahead now, put our battery back on and let's get this thing started up. Starts right up. And you can already tell that fuel pump is way quieter, way smoother. Get up underneath here. And you can hear a huge difference. You can't even hear that fuel pump. So like I said, spend a little bit more money, get yourself an OEM or an OEM style replacement fuel pump and you'll be much, much happier. These vehicles are great vehicles. You just need to take care of them properly, do the maintenance on them, and they'll be great vehicles for many, many years. I mean, this is a 94. It was very well taken care of in the owner's possession in Japan. You can see all of the paperwork that I have, all the maintenance he had done. I can see all the parts he's replaced, and just the overall condition of this vehicle is absolutely amazing. No rust underneath. So he made sure he took care of it, had all the maintenance done, and I'm gonna to continue to do that as well. You guys have an awesome day, a blessed week, and I'll catch you on the next video.